All right, we are all set up for Joester 98 and Mort the Chicken. All right, everyone. So the, uh, the incentive to watch all the cutscenes in this game was met. Uh, thanks for your donation. So I'm just going to quick reset the console here so we can see the opening cutscenes. The lore in this game is extremely important, um, so we need to make sure we see all of it. Okay, good. That didn't, like, break the signal. <laughs> yeah. I just had to make sure I had a yes <laughs> done, so. <laughs> all right. By the way, hi, I'm Punchy. Yeah. I'm here. You'll see a lot of punch of you for the next, like, four to six hours, so. Silly block is where I live. <laughs> also, staying up this late gives me a good excuse to camp the sound voltex machine. Okay, that's not a cutscene, that's not a cutscene. All right, here we go. So, this is where the deep lore begins. The deep lore. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Once again, presenting the controversial videotape received earlier today. From a mysterious dimension parallel to the Earth. Greetings to all round, fuzzy, squishy things. I am Colonel Cubicles, leader of the Fool Yarn. We are speaking to you now to issue an ultimatum. Free the cubes. Free the cubes. Yeah, so the cubes are the enemies in this game. Extremely creative programming. We received this tape 23 hours and 50 minutes ago. What does it mean? Our expert joins us. Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in crowd control and alien invasions. Carl Cockerell, the bullion? Should we be afraid? We should always be afraid, Henny. Whether a threat is real or not, if any stranger enters your area, remember to cluck hysterically, flap your wings, and run around in circles. We're chickens. That's what we do. Thank you, Carl Cockerell. Yeah. <laughs> For New Center 12, I'm Henny Penny reminding you, if you want bread, you've got to help bake it. And I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. <laughs> I also want to point out that neither Punchy nor myself have actually ever watched the cutscenes in this game with audio. No, he wouldn't uh, let me. So this will be a true experience. He actually yeah. prevented yeah. me from doing so. Yeah, when I, when I submitted this incentive, all I did was look up the length of the cutscenes and just add that to my estimate. <laughs> so... That's why he didn't let me do it. So this will be the true experience for everybody here. Oh, dear. Wait a minute. Freeze the cubes. Free the cubes. Isn't this basically the opening of Spyro 3? Oh, uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this game is Spyro 3 if they had, like, 10% of the game for Spyro 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're actually ready to begin gameplay. So, are we ready for a countdown? All right, going in five, four, three, two, one, go. Mort est Mort. All right. So this is Mort the Chicken. Um, there's one useful bit of speed tech in this game. If you hold R1, you run really fast, so I don't let go of R1 the entire game. Uh, <laughs> and there are a bunch of power-ups that I'm going to be getting in each of these stages. I'll explain what they do kind of as we go. That's the first level, very quick. Now we get another cutscene. Silence, I bring you horrible news. Silence, <laughs> through the miracle of fuzzy video, we, that is I, Shubicles, your leader, have learned that a number of our brethren are kept as slaves by the formless squishy things who live in the universe parallel to our own. They took our cues. Silence, in retaliation. We took a number of the small squishy things, which we will keep until the cubes are released. Silence! <laughs> These squishy things have sent a ruthless commando, known as Mort the Chicken, to rescue these small squishy things <laughs> And he has met with some success. Therefore, I, Cubicles, implore you, find this Mort the Chicken. Bounce on him. Run over him. Roll over him. Smash him! Spin on him! Damage him! Jump on him! Smash him! Smash Mort the Chicken! Mort the Chicken must fly! <laughs> wow! Yeah, very morbid. It's actually way more morbid than I was expecting. <laughs> nice curtain call. <laughs> Alright. 
Also, the loading screens in this game are chicken versions of famous pieces of art, so you'll get to enjoy that uh, throughout this entire run. He also started the level there by like holding jump, I think, which gives him a big, big jump like, yeah, right out of the gate before right. the camera even has the chance to keep up with him. Yeah, so in every level, I'll be holding R1 plus X plus some direction. Oh, so pay attention to Mort, because for some reason he will turn his face like a full 180 degrees to face the camera. And it looks really sassy when he does it. Yeah. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Panic and pandemonium struck a sleepy farm today as odd cube-like creatures snatched up baby chicks seemingly at random. Penny? The number of chickens missing is still unknown. Our inability to count has hindered the effort. <laughs> During the live taping of the popular Mort the Chicken television program, Mort and the wacky gang were apparently in the middle of a good old-fashioned hoedown when disaster struck. Yeah, so Mort hosts a TV show. And his audience got kidnapped. That's the story of the game. In an act of bravery or stupidity, leap down the well after the chicks. Why these cubes took the chicks remains a mystery. And there's an even bigger... Uh, 25. Penny? TV's more the chicken. Yeah. Why would the star of a children's television show leap down a well? Very unchicken-like. What got into him? Is he insane? <laughs> Is he a hero? <laughs> these cubes. Joining us for this discussion is Dr. Carl Cockerell. So we just see this guy yet again. We'll see him a few more times this, uh... Dr. Cockerell. Mort the He's very important. Hindrance? Menace? Hero? Whatever else he is, Mort is a chicken. <laughs> As a chicken, he is genetically hardwired for panic. By not panicking, he's betrayed his chicken nature, and by extension, us. <laughs> If he's part of the problem, in other words, he's a problem. And if he's trying to solve the problem, well, he's still a problem. <laughs> so if he's helping, he's a problem. And if he's a problem, he's a problem. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Cockerell. My pleasure. Until our next update, I'm Henny Penny. <laughs> Don't cut those chickens until they're hatched. And I'm Chicken Little. Never cross the road unless you know why. <laughs> All right, so this level actually has something that's remotely hard. That's not particularly common in this game. This game is incredibly easy. Um, but this level has like one or two jumps that are kind of hard. There's a cube. We found one. Oh, this is not one of the hard jumps. This is just me being bad. Um, okay, so this spring power-up gives me an extra high jump. So I'm going to be using that here to do some creative platforming to get up here early. The camera in this game does not like follow you particularly well, so... Uh... All right. Early 3D platforming is really something. Yeah, so this is a very common theme in this game. This will be like a 30-second level and then a minute-long cutscene. <laughs> and we'll just do that a bunch over and over again. All right. All right. But what? Why? So here's the Mona Lisa. <laughs> what was the purpose of that? Yeah, that's not the first, the first time you'll see that cutscene. Um, so... You may have noticed at the end of every level, there's there's a cutscene where a bunch of coins come out of the well. Um, and so I want to collect as few coins as possible in every level because it'll shorten that cutscene. There is a random glitch that can happen sometimes where you could finish a level with like one or two coins and then the cutscene at the end will still spit out like a hundred coins for absolutely no reason and just lose, and lose you a, a boatload of time. All right, there's another level down. Again, extremely challenging. <laughs> Alright, another cutscene. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. The cube kidnap crisis continues. Joining us live at the barnyard is correspondent Charles Chicken. Oh, this is a good cutscene. This is Charles Chicken reporting live. I don't like being here. I'm frightened. Don't worry, that's normal. What's the situation there? One brave barnyard fowl is going to follow in Mort the Chicken's footsteps. Don't make me! I don't want to go! Chicken Cam exclusive live coverage of the dangerous alternate dimension where our chicks are being held captive. No, please! No! Come on, where the chicken did it? He's insane! <laughs> no! Better him than me. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Charles Chicken. Stay tuned for more live coverage of the ongoing crisis. Until next time, remember, if you're going to flock together, make sure your feathers are similar. And if you have eggs, always put them in more than one basket. That's a rule of thumb. What's a thumb? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's way too late for this, man. It's the, the creating of man or the creating of chicken. All right, so something we haven't really seen in this game is the terrible frame rate 
so this is going to be the first of many extremely laggy levels. This is not even close to the worst the game has to offer in terms oh, of this. That's so PS1. <laughs> That's yeah. so PS1. Also, I, th yeah, this is, you know, as a PS1 game, you know, there's a lot of laggy PS1 games. This is a 2000 PS1 game. It's a very late game, and it's still extremely laggy. I can't believe this game <laughs> is from the current millennia. Yeah, yeah. Current millennia playing Mort the Chicken. Yeah. So he's just collecting a bunch of birds to bring them back to a goal. This is actually Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah. <laughs> So I avoided getting hit there, which is good, because if you get hit, one of your chicks gets stuck in a block, and then you have to hit it out. Just like Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah. Apart from the block thing. So here's our live chicken cam. That's the Mortal Kombat 4 game over. Uh, this is actually probably a good time for a donation. Nothing happens during this cutscene, so. <laughs> awesome. We have a $50 donation from Corundum Core 249 Hey, Joester, greeting from the Speedruns Rochester crew. We're so ready to experience Mort the Chicken with you on such a large stage. Good luck on the run. Thanks, Corundum. Shouts to the Speedrun Rochester crew. Bunch of cool people. All right, I missed the jump at the start of this level. It's like pseudo random. Um, it saves like two seconds. Pseudo so random. Matter. All right, so this is a, probably the most important power up in this game. It's a magnet, um, so you can attract chicks to you. So, like myself, he, Mort is now lit a literal chick magnet. No, boo. <laughs> boo this <is> that. <laughs> chick magnet. <laughs> All right. So that's it for that level. Should have another cutscene here. The greatest collection of dance hits ever made. You get Funky Chicken by the Chickadelics. Shake Your Tail Feather by Cogburn and the Coops. Got to get my talons on you by the artist formerly known as Rooster. Baby, baby, baby by Baby Chick. Oh, baby, baby by Chick, baby, 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 oh, baby by Baby, baby. I wear funny hats by Weird Al Chikovic and much, much more. Shouts to Weird Al Chikovic, my favorite artist. <laughs> All right, so this is the first ice level, um, and it has terrible physics. Also, there's like a crazy launch in the air here. Wee! What? <laughs> that always happens. You want to run that by me again? <laughs> it's still faster to do that. The chicks have little hats on now. That's yeah, cool. they have little winter hats to keep themselves warm. Even oh, though, oh even, there we go again. Even though they were kidnapped in broad daylight where it wasn't cold, so. All right, I have to go back up here because I got a, a jump eaten. Uh, this game is not very good with responding to your inputs. If you jump and you're like even remotely near a ledge, uh, the game disagrees and you don't get a jump. So I will probably be falling down a lot um, because I'll get a bunch of dropped jumps, but it just happens. Uh-oh. Nope. Okay, still no, level. <laughs> Uh, it's based, uh, something you saw in earlier levels, I was flying over these, like, huge pits, and when you do that, it's impossible to die. The game just won't kill you. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. What's it all about? Why are they taking our chicks? Are they as afraid of us as we are of them? Why is the portal to their world at the bottom of a well? Let's get some answers from our resident expert, author of Your Inner Egg, Who Needs to Fly, and the Coop of Tomorrow, Dr. Carl Cockerell. Oh, this guy Carl again. Carl Cockerell, these cubes, our chicks, explanation? Kenny, it could be just as simple and harmless as it seems. These cubes have always been down there, shy but curious. When they heard our youngsters laughing and having a good time, maybe they just came up to see what the fuss was about. So why did they kidnap the chicks? Well, maybe they haven't been kidnapped. Maybe they're just having a sleepover. Maybe they made a play date. <laughs> but what if this well has somehow become a gateway to another dimension? A dimension composed entirely of cubes? That's ridiculous, Henny. If you're going to indulge in random speculation, which is my job, by the way, <laughs> you might as well say that we're all just images on a screen being manipulated by large featherless bipeds in some kind of video game. Ooh. How do you like that? Huh? Thank you, Carl Cockerell. Was... Now, back to your regular programming. I was actually completely unaware of that fourth wall break, so... Alright, this is an extremely hard level. This is serious time. <laughs> Alright, that's the level. <laughs> Sorry, was he serious? Was he not? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that level only has one chick. What is the purpose of that sequence? <laughs> You're this bugs me tremendously. You're supposed to just get a boatload of coins, which are cool, except they don't actually do anything, so... I don't mean the coins, I mean the chicken yoga. What's with that? I don't know. That, I think there's still one more of those. <laughs> what? <laughs> they animated three of them? I think it's the same animation. They just reused it three times. There's different colors, I think. Oh, I did not want to get this. All right, this is going to cause an enormous amount of lag, but it'll be hilarious, so enjoy. You got a burrito? I got a thing. It turns all my chicks into heat-seeking missiles. What? <laughs> 
and so they'll just kill everything on site. <laughs> is that a burrito? Is that doing that? Yeah, it's like a cannon or something. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be, but you can see they're just attacking all the cubes. Cannon burrito. Yeah, it causes an enormous amount of lag. Wait, what, I missed two? You're missing one? I did not miss one. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. I just heard it. I think. Huh? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> weird properties of the heat-seeking thing. The chicks just take forever to come back. Whatever. <laughs> well, there's no cutscene there. All right, another ice level. This one is uh, pretty straightforward. There's not much here. You can uh, read another donation. All right, we have a $15 donation from Pendragon. What did the evil chicken lay? Deviled eggs. Put this towards the nuclear third loop. Ten run, awful block, best block. And we have a $10 donation from Cavs. I just woke up to chicken pun. <laughs> Hopefully they don't scramble your brain too badly. Go back to sleep. <laughs> so Who be yelling? All right, more cutscenes. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Today, more baby chicks erupted from the well thanks to Mort the Chicken. Hero, TV star, and dear friend. You and Mort go quite a ways back, don't you, Chicken? Oh, yes, Henny. Gosh, you know it feels like yesterday when we first met. Here at the scene of NASA Propulsion Laboratory, where the ever so publicized rocket sled is about to be tested. Joining me live is the test pilot. They call him Mortimer Chicken. Even though what you're great animation. Mortimer, you're a better chicken than me. You wouldn't catch me in a rocket sled going 500 miles an hour. Where do you get the guts? Okay, here we go. They're strapping him in. There seems to be a little resistance. Okay, a, a lot of resistance. Mortimer is strapped in, and we're ready to go. I can see the engineers running around. They're almost ready. And there's the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off! There it goes, over 500 miles per hour with the world's bravest chicken at the helm. <laughs> so, so dead after a ride like that. What a ride. Completely unfazed. Baby Mort felt so lucky to be alive that nothing scares him anymore. He'll probably be dead soon, but until then... <laughs> I think Mort's adorable. I'm Henny Penny. And I'm Chicken Little. Now back to the game. Already in progress. All right. All right, so this level actually has, like, tech or a strat. It's like the first time we've seen that in the whole run. Um, so one of the attacks that you have in this game is like a dive bomb attack that you can do when you're in midair, and it actually gives you a little bit of extra height, and somebody used that to get back over this wall from the other side, from springing off this platform. Like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's possible to get, like, straight over the wall and actually, like, dive bomb the enemy on the other side. It looks cool, but uh, it doesn't really matter. You just need to get over the wall there. Be on the lookout for this duck. He is presumed armed. I mean, winged and very dangerous. Huh? Random cutscene. I have no idea why that's there. All right, this level is horrible um, and takes forever, so just read a bunch of donations. <laughs> All right, well, I can handle that for you. I've got a $5 anonymous donation that says, Smash That Chicken, followed by a $50 donation from Acorns. I'm glad this game exists. Kill the cubes. I have a $10 donation from 607. I love the obscure games. Shrek Extra Large had really fun movement, and the cutscenes in Mort the Chicken are great. We have a $10 donation from What Is That Thing with no comment, but thank you so much. Alrighty, so you have to break every single one of those towers to get the 10 chicks, and it's super obnoxious. Sometimes your dive bomb attack goes all the way down to the bottom of each tower, and sometimes it breaks each one individually, and no one has any idea why that happens, so that level is extremely obnoxious. So, Doctor, what part of the chicken does the nugget come from, exactly? <laughs> the, the world will never know, I guess. I second the notion of the loud why that emanated from the crowd there. <laughs> All right, so again, kind of indication of how it's literally impossible to die in this game. Wow, I actually fell off that. I'm so bad. Um, 
I'm just gonna, I'm only holding R1 right here and the game just refuses to drop me. So the game will refuse to drop you to your death over a pit. Um, even if you, I just ran off the edge here, the game would keep me floating at that level and I could just return back to land and I would never die. The alternate dimension is very accommodating. All right, so this level uh, is called Chicks. It's the only level that has more than 12 Chicks. So you can only carry 12 Chicks at once. Um, and this level has 36, um, which is way more than every other level in the game. So I have to actually take three trips around the level to, uh, to get all of them. So what I'm doing is I'm getting most of the ones in the middle, um, and then I'm going to get the ones up at the top and on the platform on the left. So I only have to climb up this uh, set of platforms once. Um, and like I mentioned with the, uh, the coin cutscene earlier in the run, since there's so many chicks in this level, this coin cutscene at the end takes forever. So you can go ahead and read a couple donations while it counts down. All right, we oh, have one. a $15 anonymous donation. They didn't leave a note, but again, thank you so much. And we have a $15 donation from Dottori. This chicken game is amazing. <laughs> the late night crew is truly blessed. I don't know if amazing is the word I would use to describe this game. Money! But it is definitely an experience. Egg? I think the eggs are extra lives. I honestly have not the slightest idea. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Alright, so this is Garden. There are multiple power-ups in this level that I want to get, except all of them can just randomly despawn. Um, so let's see if this one's here. Oh, it actually is there. Okay, I, I did see this in practice. The yeah. power-ups just sometimes don't appear. I was actually trying to intentionally not have it spawn there and then just spawn it in because it's even funnier, but it actually appeared on me, which is weird. Damn, the game worked. All right, so this one can also despawn. Oh, this one appeared too. Darn. <laughs> the, the game worked. <laughs> I'm genuinely in shock. You have to, like, scroll the power-up, like, so that you're not looking at it, so the game has, like, a chance to spawn it in properly. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Oh, I should still be fine. Uh -oh. It's very, it's very right. classic PS1 all right. tank. All right, so I screwed that up badly, so I just have to run around here and we get to see some more lag. Pay so attention enjoy. to Mort's sassy... Like, he looks back at the camera. It's so sassy. Look at this sassy chicken. <laughs> he looks back at the camera, like, directly at the camera. I mean, he's used to being on TV. He does host the TV show, so... But, like, he's see, very photogenic. Is he supposed to be doing that, or is... Like, like, what? All right, that cube just exploded and I didn't even attack it, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> No, I told you there was another one of these. I'm sick of this already, <laughs> man. I think that's the last one. There's only one more level in the uh, in the game before the before we get to the end. I didn't stay up the 4 a.m. to watch chicken Sorry, yoga. Don't, don't worry. There are multiple there are multiple bosses, and they are extremely well designed. So, all right. So this level is a, another bad offender for uh, extremely good frame rate. Again, it's it's PS1 as heck. I I, I kind of find it charming. <laughs> this this is very. Aesthetic of the era to me. Yeah, so this is not the stream lagging. This is just the game running at like 10 FPS. It would, it would yeah. not be early yeah. 3D platform yeah. if you didn't have an almost single yeah. digit frame rate. J just to note, when I picked this game up, the record was on the PAL version where all the lag is even worse the entire game. <laughs> don't, don't even get me started on this PAL 50 frame stuff. All right. That is no plot relevance whatsoever, but okay. anyway. All right, here's the first boss. This is Blockman. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to glide into the side, and I want him to throw the, the blue blocks that are the same color as him, and I'm trying to hit those into him. Those are the only blocks that will damage him. Also, Mort's health bar is the corn cob in the top left. Yeah, so it's actually kind of possible to die here, but not really, so... Did not get corn cob. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so coming up, we're coming up on the final boss. This is Cube Face. There is a weird, like, instant kill that you can get. It's extremely uncommon, so it's, it's unlikely I'll get it, but hopefully I do. Um, but anyway, time will come after this stage is over, so. Oh, oh that, that, was was so, so, that was so close. So the instant kill is you get one of these dice embedded in his body, and it just hits him on the first possible frame every time. That was really close to getting it there. All right, I've got one more hit. All right, time is coming up very shortly here. All right, and time. What's the ending? All right. And this is the news. So another cutscene to finish off the lore here. The war between the cubes and the soft, squishy things has ended in peace. 
And it turns out it was all based on a simple misunderstanding. We thought the soft, squishy things, which we now know are called chickens, had kidnapped cubes from our world. But we've now learned that these cubes are not cubes at all. Well, they are cubes, but they're not cube cubes, if you know what I mean. They're food for a larger squishy thing with split hooves called a cow. I don't pretend to understand it. All I know is the danger is over. Here to explain it is our leader, Cubicles. Silence. Oh, okay, you, you weren't talking. It is I, Cubicles. We have engaged in a great war with the soft, squishy things we know <laughs> what a as crowd. chickens. A great war. I believed that these chickens had imprisoned certain of our kind. This was my bad. <laughs> Funny story. These were not real living cubes, but stacks of food that looked like cubes. <laughs> like tofu or, or marshmallows. They are called hay bales or hay stacks. They are inanimate. Not alive Crowd is slowly They're leaving. Eaten by cows, a larger, soft, squishy thing. So, I almost got us all killed for nothing. Joke's on us. Sorry about that. But all's well that ends well. Can I still be your leader? <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't know how elections work in the cube world. I have to research it. been in danger. Oh, never mind. I am so out of here. <laughs> all right. Mort, the chicken. Any less a chicken for a being, a hero? So this cutscene isn't that important, so I'm going to skip it and skip the credits because there's something I want to show off that I found like a couple hours ago. Um, so I, I do want to give a, a premature seizure warning for this. Um, yeah, no, like serious. Seriously. So if you type in the code DBGON and you hit the, you actually hit the correct buttons, which I'm not doing here, um, it activates the debug menu. Uh, there we go. Um, and so if I go back into a new game um, and I pause and press select, it'll pull up the debug menu and it'll show a bunch of values like this, and you can just change these values to whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the gravity negative, <laughs> and then I'm going to crank my speed up really high, and hopefully that will crash the game. <laughs> and it will crash it hard. Like, he's not joking about the seizure. Yeah. Like, if you yeah. I'm not, don't. I also, I also, there's also one other value I want to point out in here, because I don't know why it's in here. Um, so again, you can see there's like, important values to the game, like gravity, you know, where the camera is, what your speed is, and stuff like that. But if I scroll down in the menu a little bit, there's an option called, where is it? Mort's neck length. So, so why this is a modifiable value in the game is beyond me. Crank it, crank but it. If you, but I, I, I did find if you make this negative, your head is just under the floor. <laughs> um, that's, that's way less interesting than just making this really big, so I'm just going to make this really big and uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll just crank this to like 100. Alright, I, I don't think you guys are ready, so here we go. Alright. So if I hold up and X, the game should freak out, hopefully, and it will just go absolutely ballistic. And again, this is like a true seizure warning if I actually get it to do what it could do. Um, it will look very, very bad. <laughs> Mort the chicken space program. He truly was fearless. Let's see if I can get it to crash. Up sometimes, he goes. sometimes it doesn't crash and it just kind of loops around. I haven't, I didn't exactly figure out why that happens, but we'll see. You may very well be going too fast. I don't think you can go too fast for this. I've gotten it with the speed cranked way higher. There we oh, go. God. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so there's some bad seizure warning. So I'll turn that off before anyone gets a headache. Um, so that's it for Mort the Chicken. Uh, thanks for watching. I want to give a few shout outs. So shout outs to Punchy for helping me with the commentary on this. Shout outs to everyone out there in the crowd at Awake at 4 in the morning. You guys are awesome. Um, I want to give a shout out to Kane of Pocky, who actually is the person who told me about this game. and. Uh, said that I should learn it um, because the record wasn't on NTSC, so it was easily obtainable. Um, and, I also, and I also want to give a shout out to Jolnir, who is a uh, sweet, who's the Swedish runner of this game who had the record, um, 
he pushed, he actually routed like most of the stuff in this game. He's, he's a cool dude. Um, I would also recommend checking out his run of this game at ESA 2017. He got his entire back couch to dress up in full chicken costumes with head masks and everything. And it's absolutely hysterical. So go watch that when you have a chance. Um, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Stick around for the rest of Silly Block. And that was Joaster98 with Mort the Chicken. We'll get a couple donations before going over to a Twitch break. We have a $20 donation from Hopscotch. This run is Poultry in Motion. We have a $25 donation from Canal. How was I able to live for years without knowing this game? We have a $5 donation from Jacob Adams. Good morning from Ireland, again, again. Orb, I mean egg. We have a $5 donation from Anonymous. This game is amazing. Here's five box. And a $15 donation from Bird School. The Bird School community sends its love with our second donation of the event. We're not sure about this Mort the Chicken fellow, though. We're loving the energy of the crowd tonight, so keep up the hype. <laughs> and with that, we'll go ahead and cut on over to a Twitch ad, and we will be right back. All right, let's get through some donations here. We got a $25 donation from Ven Bright. It says, wow, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg is a lot different from what I remember as a kid. We got a $5 donation from Kaz. It says, shout out to the flapping hat in the audience. Let's get some hat flap. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, a finer flapping hat you have never laid eyes on. All right, we got some upcoming incentives for you, by the way. Nuclear Throne Loop 10 Showcase is sitting at $5,915.39 out of $7,500. That will be extremely impressive. Nuclear Throne is more or less impossible. I've tried playing it. It's pretty much impossible. So to see someone go through 10 loops of it, that, that's going to be pretty impressive. I like it. Uh, also, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 cutscenes. Uh, we're at $7,699.27 out of $10,000. So if you want to see, see them go to spice, then uh, I think you may have to donate for that. Um, also, we have a bonus game. Uh, StarCraft Remastered. I believe it's Brood War. Um, $21,340.32 out of $60,000. So if you want some StarCraft, get those donations in.
I see uh, most of the chat is claiming to have made the next game, cat lateral damage. I believe most of you are lying. Either that or it was a 100,000 man effort to make this game. I guess we'll find out once the run starts. Oh, we've got, we got a real Spartacus situation going on in the chat now. Now everyone has made this game? Everyone made cat lateral damage. Everyone. Did you in the audience make cat lateral damage? <laughs> I really hope the real developer doesn't tune in and think that this is all serious. We have a $50 donation from Sandalfin. We must construct additional pylons and get that StarCraft bonus game. The glow of the infinite is within us. Agreed. Let's get some StarCraft going. We have a $10 donation from Iggy Zig, sending a donation for StarCraft since I'll be hosting it. And seeing Dime Blaze through will be far more enthralling than me reading donations and ad blurbs for 40 minutes. Let's do it. Oh, Iggy Zig, you card, you. Now, if all of you want to donate and put in your stupid cat jokes, now would probably be the time. I mean, you could do it during tr qu uh, Chrono Trigger, but I feel it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, you could do it during Cave Story, but uh, that would just be kind of confusing. You could do it during Kingdom Hearts, but uh, probably, probably uh, not get read in favor of Disney-flavored uh, donations. So, uh, stupid cat jokes, I think, uh, I think this would be the time for it. Stupid Cat Cabal, step up. We have an anonymous $200 donation. Woo! That's right, woo. They did not leave a comment, but you know what? The crowd loves it anyway, don't you crowd? Woo! That's right. We have a $20 donation from Dreadmoan. Always ready to lose sleep for the silliest games played with enthusiasm. Shout out to the amazing hosts and audience keeping us awake between runs. This donation goes towards Red Alert 3 cutscenes. Uh, spice! Uh, I do a great t Tim Curry impression? I do. I think I do the best one, actually. The best one ever. No one's going to contest me because I'm the only one with the microphone. Now the chat is claiming they invented cats. 
I really don't think that's true, but chat would never lie to me on this. 